Hello and welcome back to Eyes on Carnivore. My name is Sean, I'm 57 years old and I've been reversing blindness with the carnivore diet. So today I want to talk about oxalates. Now this is something that's interesting to me because in the first six weeks I had oxalate dumping around my ankles, around my shins. It was quite itchy and it seemed to alternate legs from time to time and also was occurring just after meals. So within 20, 30 minutes of eating a meal, I would get oxalate dumping in my, on around my ankles. And um, so after about six weeks and um, thereafter, I got some more oxalate dumping coming out of my back and they were like a hard crystal that I noticed it was like a little lump. Uh, after a couple of days, you could scratch it off and feel it with your fingers. It had some, um, some powdery sort of feel to it as well. So oxalate crystals and oxalate powder coming out of my back and my ankles. So what I found was very interesting with my eyesight. Of course, it's improved dramatically, but one of the interesting things is that I, I don't get the sleep in the corner of my eyes anymore. This used to be something that really was, it was a daily occurrence for me. Uh, and my guide dogs, you know, my last guide dog, Berry, she suffered a lot with these, uh, this sleep coming out of her eyes. Um, so what I think is going on when I reintroduce some oxalates back in my diet, I notice, and I did this test just in the past couple of weeks, uh, I've noticed that sleep does come back into the corner of my eyes, generally in the morning, but also during the day. Um, I tested just a few ox high oxalate foods, so I don't need to go into which ones. And during this video, we're gonna find out all about high oxalate foods and ocular oxalosis. Let's find out more. The hidden dangers in plants. Ever wonder why, despite loading up on healthy greens, you still suffer from joint pain, gout flare-ups, or even weird eye issues. Today, I'm pulling back the curtain on plant foods, while foods like spinach, almonds, sweet potatoes, beets, tomatoes, Swiss chard, common leafy greens, and even certain nuts and potatoes are celebrated as, as uh, nutritional powerhouses. They also hide dangerous toxins, oxalates, that can wreak havoc on your body and your eyesight. And that's exactly why I advocate for the carnivore diet. By eliminating these plant anti-nutrients, you can unlock a whole new level of health. What are oxalates? So what exactly are oxalates? Oxalates are naturally occurring compounds found in many plants. Um, you've probably heard of them in spinach, rhubarb, and Swiss chard. Spinach chard and bee greens are off the chain high in oxalate and pretty bioavailable. Nuts like almonds, cashews, and peanuts, big problem, they're very uh, used in large quantities. Black and white beans, bran, turmeric, a lot of seeds like chia and hemp, beets, sweet potatoes. I really messed myself up making sweet potatoes my daily starch. So our daily bread was my sweet potato. <laughs> oh man, that was a mistake. And the one nobody wants to hear about is cacao or dark chocolate or cocoa powder being very absorbable, used widely in science because you can easily get a volunteer to come in and drink some hot cocoa or eat a piece of chocolate and then see what the oxalate does in the body. Um, so it's very clear that that's bioavailable oxalate and gets in the body beautifully and shows up in the urine and so on. But they're also present in almonds, cashews, peanuts, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, tomatoes, and, and a variety of common leafy greens uh, consumed around the world. Um, in plants, oxalates serve as a defense mechanism against predators. But here's the problem, our bodies don't have the enzymes needed to break them down. Instead of being digested, these compounds accumulate in binding with vital minerals like calcium, magnesium and iron and making them unavailable for our use. The hidden menace, 
oxalate crystals and eye damage. One of the most alarming effects of oxalates is the formation of crystals when they bind with calcium. Um, while we often hear about these crystals forming kidney stones, what many don't realize is that they can also affect your eyes. This condition known as ocular oxalosis, what occurs when calcium oxalate crystals accumulate in the delicate the tissues of the eye, leading to persistent irritation, dryness, and even long-term vision damage. Think about that gritty, sandy substance in your eyes when you wake up, what most of us call sleep. Emerging research and countless anecdotes suggest that part of this discharge might actually be oxalate crystals being excreted through our tear ducts. Imagine your eyes suffering daily microcrystal abrasion, slowly compromising your vision over time if you've ever dealt with unexplained eye irritation, excessive grittiness or dryness, oxalates might be playing a hidden role. It's a real paradox. It's a real crime, actually, that we're ignoring science we've had for a long time. We've known that spinach chelates calcium and can cause calcium deficiency, particularly in infants and children, and absolutely should not be used for children. And yet, right from the get-go, people from the medical society said, well, we'll just ignore that because the other greens are fine. And so we'll just pretend that's not happening. And we've been basically getting a very skewed picture of things. And then at more recent times, somebody put out this idea in the 80s that these compounds in Petri dishes have these anti-inflammatory effects. And we got the notion that plant compounds are great heroic anti-inflammatory things that protect you from old age, and get in the way of oxidative stress in the body and all this, and it's not how it works at all. And so we've, got, we've built this into our culture thinking that these phytonutrients are great and nobody's warned us about the science we've had for 100 years that keeps getting re, reconfirmed many times over that oxalic acid is a serious anti-nutrient that causes calcium deficiency and causes electrolyte disturbance in ways that can um, cause long-term serious health consequences. How oxalates damage your body. Oxalates cause trouble on multiple fronts. First, they bind to essential minerals in your gut, effectively stealing calcium, iron, and magnesium nutrients crucial for strong bones, proper muscle function, and energy production. Um, for instance, even though spinach is loaded with iron, studies suggest that up to 95% of it might be blocked by oxalates. Second, when oxalates combine with calcium, they form crystals that not only contribute to kidney stones, about 80% of which are calcium oxalate, but also can lodge in your joints, fueling inflammation and triggering painful gout flare-ups. In short, those seemingly healthy plant foods could be worsening conditions like gout, joint pain, and even affecting your vision. The carnivore diet eliminating the culprits. This is where the carnivore diet truly shines. By focusing exclusively on animal-based foods, you naturally eliminate the oxalates and other anti-nutrients found in plants. But that's not all. This diet also cuts out high carbohydrate foods that are notorious for causing cellular inflammation and damaging your eyes and other tissues. Carbohydrates, especially when refined or consumed in excess, can trigger chronic inflammation, impair insulin sensitivity, and even lead to oxidative stress, which further harms your cells. Without the burden of both oxalates and excess carbohydrates, your body can absorb essential minerals more effectively, reducing the risk of kidney stones, gout, and even protecting your eyesight from those damaging microcrystals. Transitioning to a carnivore lifestyle. If you're considering making the switch, here are some practical tips. 
Begin by gradually reducing your intake of high oxalate and, and high carbohydrate foods. Um, say goodbye to spinach, almonds, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, tomatoes, Swiss chard, common leafy greens and refined carbs and replace them with nutrient dense animal proteins and fats. Symptoms along the way, many people have reported not only relief from joint pain and gout, but also a noticeable improvement in eye clarity and overall energy after cutting out these plant toxins and inflammatory carbohydrates. And don't just take my word for it. There are countless success stories and emerging studies that back up the benefits of eliminating these harmful food groups. Feeling like you're unmoored because our culture is so bent on thinking plants are safe and benign that it's really uncomfortable for people and that that social psychological dissidence keeps people afraid to question these rudimentary beliefs that are completely, it's like, I think of it as like mold hyphae in our heads. Like we're so embedded in this thinking that we're trapped emotionally. Call to action. In summary, cutting out plant-based oxalates and high carbohydrate foods can help protect your kidneys, ease joint pain and gout, and even safeguard your eyesight by preventing the accumulation of damaging crystals. I'm not suggesting you need to ditch all greens overnight, but if you're plagued by unexplained eye irritation, chronic joint pain, or painful gout attacks, it might be time to rethink what's on your plate. Have you ever noticed that persistent eye grit in your sleep or sudden gout flare-ups after eating certain carbs? Share your story in the comments below. For further information, check out the description below where I've added more resources including Dr. Sally Norton's work and her book on oxalates. If this video has opened your eyes, literally and figuratively, please hit that like button, subscribe and join the conversation. Together, we can reclaim our health by making better and smarter dietary choices. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.